Hello everyone, welcome to Sunya IS and welcome to this lecture. It's going to be a very interesting lecture today because we are going to study about the Wildlife Protection Act and some of the species that are protected under it. Now, after this also, we will keep having sessions like the next session also is going to be about uh, Indian biodiversity only. But uh, this one is going to be the start of something very interesting because we are going to cover it all through pictures. So it is going to be very, very appealing to all of you and it will be easy to recall also in examination because once you have seen it in front of your eyes, so it keeps coming back as picture, uh, pictographic memory, right? So, okay, uh, before starting, just a little bit about this course, which is revised entire prelim syllabus through 3000 plus MCQs, wherein we have already done Indian polity, economy, modern history, geography. Now we're doing environment ecology. Then we'll do ancient medieval art and culture, science and tech, current affairs. The purpose being to make you comfortable with the new pattern of UPSC as well as to cover the entire course, of course. So that is there. So it will be the link will be in the comments and you can check out the course if you wish to. You can also contact on this number, visit this website. All right. So let's start this very interesting topic and uh, this is actually very interesting. People think of it as a burden, but it is very interesting to see that how species are there, where they are located and you know what kind of, uh, what kind of, um, I'd say, distribution they have and why we are uh, spending so much time and effort and money on saving them. So let's start. Consider the following regarding Wildlife Protection Amendment Act 2022. The amendment reduced the number of schedules for specially protected animals from 4 to 3. The amendment removed the schedule for vermin species and the amendment removed the schedule for protected plant species. So, which of the given statements are incorrect? Incorrect one is being asked. So, in 2022, the Wildlife Protection Act was amended and uh, what happened was that earlier... There were six schedules, out of which three, uh, four actually were uh, very much repetitive. Right? Schedule 1, Schedule 2, Schedule 3, Schedule 4, they were there. They were very repetitive because it was just decreasing order of protection for the animals. But now it is um, sort of a given that every species that we have needs to be protected. It's not necessary that it should be a critically endangered or whatever so the thing is that there is no need of having so many schedules so the schedules for animals which were earlier four they have been reduced to two so first one is incorrect now the first schedule i'll tell you about the schedules first let's see the other uh, statements the amendment removed the schedule for vermin species yes vermin species were the species which could be killed which could be killed or uh, combed, just ko bolte hain. And uh, because they were harmful to the human civilization or, you know, things like that. So, wo pura hat gaya hai. Vermin species ka schedule hat gaya hai. How will vermin be identified? That I will tell you. And amendment removed the schedule for protected plant species. This is incorrect. There were, there is schedule 3 that is there for plant species. So, incorrect statement pucha hai. 1 and 3 are incorrect. Now, very important to know, the Wildlife Protection Act, Amendment Act 2022, it has reduced the number of schedules from 6 to 4. So, the first schedule and the second schedule, both of them are for protected animals, right? The animals in the first schedule will be having more protection than the animals of the second schedule. The third schedule is for protected plant varieties. This is for protected plant varieties. And the fourth one, it is not for vermin. It is actually the animals which are protected against, uh, which are protected under the sites. These are the uh, animals which are protected under the uh, sites. So this is very, very important. Now, what about the vermin species? The species that can be killed. Vermin species will be designated by the central government, not by the state government. What happened earlier was that because there were certain species in the vermin species, they were being killed un, you know, uh, they were being killed um, 
unnecessarily as well so right now if there is a particular species that is causing a lot of harm to the animals other animals to the human civilization then central government will take that decision not the state government right because state government mein jaisa kerala mein stray dog menace is huge but stray dogs are not called vermin by the center right so that's why there is very clear instruction that only if center is designating a species as a vermin species and that too for a specific area not for the entire country let's say the stray dog menace is so much in kerala it's so much in tamil nadu that um, central government has no choice but to declare them as vermin that means they can be killed to protect the nearby people so that will be for a limited period and for a limited jurisdiction fine that will not be for the entire country so that is there this is the newest amendment in wildlife protection act 2022 major thing what's the year of the original act it is 1972 fine all right next which of the following species are endemic to india elvira rat namdafa flying squirrel pygmy hog asian elephant asiatic lion sangai deer and chinkara so what is endemic found only in india found only in the indian territory nowhere else so endemic species jo hain first you have to find out if there is any species here which is clearly not endemic that means which is found beyond the borders of india as well so just think about the asian elephant asian elephant is found in pakistan also it's found in sri lanka also it's found in bhutan it is found in many south uh, south asian southeast asian countries so there is no chance that the asian elephant the asiatic elephant can be um, you know endemic so this one would be removed similarly you see chinkara chinkara uh, it is a very revered animal it is an animal which is worshiped like right so uh, chinkara is not just found in india it is also found in pakistan it is also found in iran okay so these are important areas where it is found so you eliminate 4 and 7 you will arrive at the answer 4 and 7 aapne pura eliminate kar diya so you are there at the answer which is d 1 2 3 5 and 6 now don't think ki in these kind of questions also upsc will be uh, giving you only one only two that because that makes it a very very difficult paper and upsc has to select people also upsc does not have to you know reject people so any which way d is the answer okay now just let's see these animals one by one it's going to be very interesting elvira rat as you can see it's a rat it's a small mouse rat and it is critically endangered okay so this is a very important species which is critically endangered i u c n yaad rehna chahiye mota mota critically endangered although you you might think that rats are found very um in open right but uh, this particular species of rat elvira rat is critically endangered namdafa flying squirrel where is namdafa there has been a question on it also namdafa park is in arunachal pradesh right so namdafa flying squirrel is found in uh, arunachal pradesh and it is also critically endangered fine it is critically endangered so this is important then pygmy hog pygmy hog is a species of pig very small species of pig and it is also endangered take this is pygmy hog just fix the status of these particular species in your mind pygmy hog then asian elephant it is endangered and uh, there is this elephant recovery program project elephant and project tiger which have been merged and when it comes to asian elephant there we have i think already discussed about it also that there are 10 sites under the mike program mike program is for elephant conservation so those 10 sites are important where elephants are being conserved then asiatic lion is also endangered i think it should be under matlab by now because it is only found in gir national park in gujarat it should be actually critically endangered but it is actually endangered today so this is very important this status 
then sangai deer sangai deer is found in manipur sangai deer is found in manipur and uh, specifically in the kiobal lamjao national park and it feeds on fumaris hai na is pe se sawal aa chuka hai north eastern states ka agar koi bhi specific feature hai to questions have been asked for example from meghalaya there are living root bridges right so these kind of things so sangai deer endangered then chinkara chinkara is vulnerable as you can see here black buck chinkara vulnerable next match the following pairs species and habitat great indian hornbill snow leopard slender loris tropical scrub and deciduous forest uh, mountainous landscapes of central and southern asia wet evergreen and mixed deciduous forest so let's try to be um, common sensical there is snow leopard where is snow found snow is found is in mountainous areas so mountainous landscape of central and southern asia would be the snow leopard now great indian hornbill if you are uh, aware there is a great indian hornbill hornbill festival that is done in nagaland so that is uh, very important so it would be great indian hornbill would be found in the wet evergreen and mixed deciduous forests because the nagaland area itself comes into the wet evergreen and uh, mixed deciduous forest and what are you remaining with slender loris slender loris is found in tropical scrub and deciduous forest so one is with the uh, three one is with c two is with b and three is with a now let's just see the species what these species are great indian hornbill looks like this a yellow beak is there and there are some features about these animals which i want you to know it is the largest member of the hornbill family so basically it's the largest kind of hornbill that is there largest hornbill then another thing female hornbills are smaller than male hornbills female are smaller than male hornbills and this is um, a feature which is there in many species you know that even in human beings you see that females are generally by size um they are smaller than men right mostly so that is same with great indian hornbill as well and uh, overall they are found in northeastern region of india next is snow leopard snow leopard is also vulnerable and snow leopard is very very important because it is highly endangered acha one thing about uh, great indian hornbill also i want to tell you over here that this uh, hornbill is not just found in the northeastern region it is also the state bird of kerala theek hai it's the state bird of kerala why kerala because evergreen forests are found in kerala as well ठीक है ना तो दैट इज देयर सो हॉर्नबिल देन स्नो लेपर्ड स्नो लेपर्ड इज वेबल एंड स्नो लेपर्ड इज ऑफकोर्स फाउंड इन द हिमालयन रीजन इट इज द स्टेट एनिमल ऑफ हिमाचल प्रदेश एंड ऑफ लद्दाख ठीक है तो ये इंपॉर्टेंट है वेर आर द हाइएस्ट अमाउंट ऑफ स्नो लेपर्ड फाउंड दे आर फाउंड इन चाइना ठीक है सो दिस इज ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट um then there is this uh, treaty this program called g sleep g slep g slep is global snow leopard ecosystem protection program g slep so india has ratified this particular program g slep theek hai yahan pe likh dete hu i think dikha nahi aapko theek hai to that is there baki project snow leopard chal raha hai 2009 se so these are some important things a term that is used to mention snow leopard is the ghost of the mountains ghost of the mountains bolte hain because uh, it is able to you know move very fast and camouflage itself in the snow as well so that is there and these black spots that you can see na just like tigers every snow leopard has a different kind of black spot and these are called rosettes these are called rosettes theek hai तो ये चीज हो गई सो so, ये इंपॉर्टेंट है एंड स्लेंडर लॉरिस स्लेंडर लॉरिस आर वेरी एज यू कैन सी वेरी क्यूट एनिमल्स एंड दीज आर प्राइमेट्स दीज आर एंडेंजर्ड एंड दे आर वेरी शाई फाइन दे आर फाउंड इन स्क्रब लैंड 
you can see this picture this is also a picture of not a very um you know green environment they are found in scrublands and um, there is this variety of red slender loris which is found only in sri lanka theek okay? hai so this is important it is endangered and these are very shy in their uh, demeanor these are primates okay next consider the following paragraph about a species this species is commonly observed in large flocks during the winter season at the koringa wildlife sanctuary it breeds colonially often choosing expansive exposed sandbars and islands for nesting sites notably the chambal river serves as a crucial nesting site for this species which of the given uh, species are described above gangetic dolphin vaquita porpoise indian skimmer purple frog so a uh, gangetic dolphin is uh, found in areas which are fresh water areas so though chambal is there but chambal is more known for the ghadial ghadial which are critically endangered here what they are talking about is the indian skimmer ठीक है सो लेट मी जस्ट टेल यू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज इंडियन स्किमर इंडियन स्किमर इज एन एंडेंजर्ड स्पीशीज ऑफ बर्ड एंड दे फ्लो टू द कोरिंगा वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी वेयर इज कोरिंगा वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी कोरिंगा वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी इज इन आंध्र प्रदेश सो दे नेस्ट ऑन द कोरिंगा वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी एंड दे आर एंडेंजर्ड सो वेन यू सी सी दिस इज इन द बैकग्राउंड दिस इज अ वेटलैंड राइट एंड दिस इज द सैंड बार दैट इज एक्सपोज so they nest here they give their eggs here and then they fly off after breeding the eggs and very important that uh, they are found when you talk about the coastal areas both in western and in eastern areas they are found theek hai so indian skimmer ki baat ho rahi hai now just see the rest of the species in the options also gangetic uh, dolphin it's the national uh, aquatic animal of india very cute डॉल्फिन एंड इट इज एंडेंजर्ड ठीक है डॉल्फिन की जितनी भी स्पीशीज हैं देर ऑल एंडेंजर्ड फाइन इट इज अ ब्लाइंड डॉल्फिन इट कैन ओनली सर्वाइव इन फ्रेश वॉटर देन वैक्विटा पॉर्पोइस इट इज क्रिटिकली एंडेंजर्ड इट इज नॉट फाउंड इन इंडिया एंड इट इज सो क्रिटिकली एंडेंजर्ड दैट राइट नाउ लास्ट अपडेट अकॉर्डिंग टू द वर्ल्ड वाइड फंड फॉर नेचर ओनली टेन ऑफ सच वैक्विटा पॉर्पोइस आर लेफ्ट इन दिस वर्ल्ड ठीक है सो दैट्स वाई वेन एनी ऑर्गेनिज्म बिकम्स दिस लेवल ऑफ थ्रेट एंड दे गेट इन टू न्यूज राइट सो दैट इज देयर देन पर्पल फ्रॉग पर्पल फ्रॉग इज एंडेंजर्ड एंड पर्पल फ्रॉग इज फाउंड इन द एरिया ऑफ वेस्टर्न घाट्स वेस्टर्न घाट्स के एरिया में मिलते हैं ऑल राइट नेक्स्ट कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट संगा डियर इज फाउंड ओनली इन मणिपुर long billed vulture is found only to the north of ganges and lesser florican is endemic to western ghat only how many of the given statements are correct so here sangai is found only in manipur is absolutely correct and that is why it is critically endangered also but rest of the two are not correct here uh, and i'll tell you how see Sanga, I think we have already talked about Sanga. Sanga deer is a very beautiful deer which is found in. Acha long bird. Sanga deer ka photo I think मैंने नहीं लगाया है. Sanga deer is found in the Kebul Lamjao Park because हाँ we have already talked about the Sanga deer ना. And it is critically endangered. Kebul Lamjao critically endangered and it is found only in Manipur. So that's why it becomes important. ठीक है. Then there is long billed vulture. long billed vulture is critically endangered as well and um, there is endosulfan and diclofenac drugs which because they are fed to the cattle they become lethal to the vulture as well so that chain has been very much in news so that's why it become it has become critically endangered in fact there are two more types of vultures and i want you to tell me in the comments that which are these two more kind of vultures that are found in india and all of three uh, one of them is critically endangered one is endangered and this long billed vulture is found in india it is found in pakistan it is also found in nepal so it is not um, just found in a particular area and then there is lesser florican 
lesser florican is also a very heavy bird and uh, it is also critically endangered it is found only in india so it is endemic to india that's why it is critically endangered theek hai na so that is there but um, overall it uh, has this characteristic of being spread across in the indian subcontinent as well so not just western india across the chhota nagpur plateau also the eastern side also it is found right so yes that's it today we have covered a plethora of species and uh, slowly i am getting you used to you know uh, getting used to explaining a lot of species to you slowly i just don't want to burden you with a lot of species so thanks to this program that we are running even the next class that we are going to have is going to be full of species and these species will be very very detailed in their coverage theek hai abhi this and the previous class have been pretty light but starting from the next class we are going to cover a lot of species through a lot of questions and pretty much every species that is to be covered for our uh, upsc examination will be covered by us fine so do attend do keep attending these classes and in the end of the next class i am going to next or next to next class because in the next class we are going to do the animal species after that we are going to do the marine species as well theek hai so that we will do so it will take some time but overall what we are going to see is that we will properly cover every species that is to be covered and at the end of all of it you are going to get a proper list of the species that are to be covered and you can revise from that again and again because ultimately it is all about revision that you have to do again and again if you do not revise no matter how many how many species you um remember you will not end up remembering any in your examination right so that is very important and if you like this lecture then please let me know in the comments because that's the only way i i can know that you know we are doing something that is helping you so yes i will see you all in the next lecture thank you so much for watching bye bye